Shopbox is a company that I founded four years ago. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've done many different things. I really, when I start something new, I want to start with the consumer to really understand you know, how we can make something better for the consumer. And then going back to maybe selling it to businesses and everything, but I think it's really, at the end of the day, it's, it's what the computer, co consumer wants that eventually will win. So uh, with Shopbox, I want to create you know, the most amazing experience when you go out and eat. Right? So the food is really great, and I come from Denmark where we have some of the best restaurants in the world, but what about everything else than the food? What about the experience of payments? What about the, you know, the, 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 the rating of the place? What about the service of the, the staff and all that stuff? What about the food that doesn't go to waste and all these different things? Right? So I sat down with some people, with some really smart engineers four years ago, put in some money from another company that I sold, and said, we need to do this really smart uh, application. Um, so, this is what I will tell you a little bit about today. Um, oh. So, first of all, that's why we want to do it. Uh, we want to change this, like the, the experience of going out and eat. And um, this was what we found out when we started to talk with restaurants, because obviously, you know, you and me having a good ex you know, experience going out and eat, it has to do with the systems that the restaurants have. And on average, uh, you know, restaurants with dining have 4.6 different applications to run their restaurant. It could be booking, it could be takeaway, it could be staff management, it could be CRM, it could be POS, you know, all of this stuff. And the, the funny thing is, it's not connected. And that's why it's, it's useless in many ways, but it's also more expensive, really. I'm just gonna stand like this. What you really need is one simple application. You know, in enterprise, everyone talks about you have to be specialized in this and this field. That's, that's really true. But if you have a small business, you just want simple solutions that everyone understands, that's intuitive to use, and that can, you know, use data between the different things. For example, if you have a CRM here, and a POS here, and an inventory system here, and a staff thing here, and none of this is connected, you know, how do you know which is the best staff what are the best selling products and who is booking what? So it's, it's not connected and that is part of the problem. Another thing is it costs a lot of money to run a lot of different applications, right? So the average spend per year is uh, more than 5,000. If you use Shopbox, it's you know, less than 1,500 euro. So there's a huge uh, thing to be saved and obviously a much better product to be, to be given. So, as I said before, it's really difficult to predict anything about your consumers if you, if you have all these different applications and, and give them a good experience. Um, but if you, you know, have the whole thing, you can take out you know, all kinds of data. As I said before, you can relate the waiter to the guest, to the experience, to the booking, to the inventory, to the POS and everything. Um, we're targeting restaurants. We could do many different things, obviously, if you have a service like this. But we're really specifically targeting restaurants because they have a lot of issues uh, and because there's so much more you can do to you know, enhance the experience. Um, so in our estimates, 3.5 million customers at, at sit-down, full-service restaurants are in the markets that we're currently in, which is the UK, which just started up in London a few weeks ago, Germany, and the Nordics. So what is it? So I'll just show you real quick what the application does. So basically, you can have all kinds of different things. Here you can take out like what you think is the most important. The default is customers, counter, economy, and staff. But if you want to, you, know, you can also go and have other things. Uh, for example, the number of stores you have. Uh, you can see the revenue di dynamic and all this stuff. Um, so here I have a restaurant. Uh, I can see, of course, today sales, and then I go in here, and then I have some table settings. We did this, obviously, together with restaurant managers and like people with a lot of experience in this, so really understanding the need. Um, and this, of course, also has an iPhone application for the waiter. Uh, we also have a Windows application coming out. We work, actually, with Microsoft in the Swedish market to create the, the first part of the Windows together with HP also. That's very interesting. So I go in here and I create a new table, and, uh, you know, this is a very simple setup, right? So for the first course, I would like this. For the second course, I like some more food. <laughs> for the third course, I actually like some more food. So, um, and then I save it. 
more or less what it is today with a micros solution. Obviously, a little bit more sexy than, than, than micros. Um, but then, obviously, for example, the food goes to the kitchen. Everything else goes to the bar. In the settings, which is really simple to use, I mean, you set this up in a, in a night. It takes two or three hours to create your entire menu. It's to set up everything, importing the customers in a spreadsheet to the admin, which is in the back end. I'm not showing that today. But obviously, there's also a computer version of this, and there's a mobile version of it. Uh, then how is this connected? So, for example, when a customer has been there a few times, I ask this customer if they want to be part of the club, for example. And then I can track, obviously, what they had. I can go in, and maybe if they have allergies towards something, I can make sure that they don't get recommended stuff that they don't like, if they have specific wines that they like, or if they just know the taste of a wine that they like. Something that gives me a more accurate you know, service level towards the customer. I can also, you know, just to wrap up everything, I can... Oh. And it goes silent. I can also, you know, check my expenses. So if I have a very simple setup, I can actually manage my income and my expenses in the same sheet, send this whole thing to my accountant every month in the settings, or whoever needs to have all this information. I can, of course, see all the time, you know, how my business is doing, generate different reports and all that stuff. If I have many stores, I can, of course, see like these different stores log in on those stores. And the last thing, um, of course, I have different people working for me. And one of the visions for us is to, to go out and make sure that, you know, who are the waiters that gives the best service, for example. If it's possible to rate the service when you come home, then you start to find out, like, who are the people who really do a, a great work and who is not so good at getting stars. So, you know, this is what the manager wants, right? But that's really difficult to get because in between the manager and the customer is the whole setup of a person actually delivering the service. So, um, this is more or less it. Uh, we also um, have, we found out that partnerships with payment providers, PSPs, is a really good idea. So we have a strategic partnership with a very big Nordic player to do this. We just actually closed the, the National Arena of Sweden uh, with the entire, like all the restaurants, all the, all the kiosks. We also have a takeaway a part of this. So it's also a, a, an enterprise solution in a way. This is the project we do with Microsoft and HP. So how is it going? So, since we launched this in April, we have absolutely no churn. This is, I've done many different startups, and this is the first startup I've done where all the clients we won, we didn't lose again. In fact, this is only in Denmark, 43% of all our clients are referral from other clients because the way the ecosystem works for these places is that they know each other, and they're actually looking for something that is more simple. They don't want to pay you know, a huge amount of money for micros and all this stuff, they're actually ready to do the cloud-based version of this. So the referral program works very well. And I guess that's because it's a good product. Today we have 403 customers using this system in the Danish market and a few in Sweden. Um, we have 15 people in the company. We are in three markets, UK, Germany, and the Nordics. And how we plan to grow, of course, you know, is to, is to work with partners. So we make strategic alliances, in this case with Bambora, for example, the Swedish credit card company. Uh, we also have the partnership with Microsoft and HP, who has an idea of like, actually bringing something forward because they lost the tablet war on the consumers. But we really try to form partnerships with, with companies that can reach out to, obviously, uh, thousands of restaurants in, in geographic regions. Um, the business model is a license-based model. It costs... Uh, 80 pounds a month to have the restaurant model, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 pounds a month to have the takeaway module, and then we also take an incremental payment on the, you know, on the, we have a kickback on the payment on the transaction itself. So the whole idea with Shopbox is that you go to shopbox.com, and then you basically onboard the customer with a few clicks. You do the KYC in a very simple setup. We actually take a, a risk on the customer, say just get started, and then we then we can always like pull it later. The idea here is to say, I, the idea is one business, one app. It has to be super simple to get started with your business. We also work with a few big banks, you know, who's going to, yeah, who's, um, who's giving it to their new businesses. This is what I had. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, that was a really interesting presentation. Um, can you tell us how, you're, how things are faring in the UK? We just hired one guy uh, who is a former guy, uh, uh, sales manager of takeaway.com. 
uh, who sees a huge potential, obviously, for the takeaways especially, because they need the e-commerce component, but they have the delivery. Uh, this is not something we have in the Nordics. So one guy, we're hiring one more. We just raised a round of funding. Last week, we closed a deal with a Swedish fund. Uh, okay. It's not even official, but yeah. We did because that. what stage are you at in terms of funding? Uh, we don't need anything right now. Actually, we actually sold some old shares uh, also in this round because um, you know we're really focused on the on the business of the of the business. We only we we have a burn rate of fifty percent or so right now, uh, trending of course towards break even. Um, so we're really focused on you know making it a business okay. and growing from there. Thank you, um, Jenny. I, do you do you want to get a? Um, is it possible to can we do you, um, get up the app view the the view of the app again? Yeah. Um, do you have any additional views of what the kitchen might see or what the back office looks like for? Um, yeah, I mean, I can take, do you want to see the back office? Or? Well, I mean, if, if you have it as part of something that you could pull up quickly. I can pull it up quick, then I have to just do the screen thing. Sure. The other question that I have is, what other applications do you see of Shopbox and is it delimited to the restaurant industry or are there other applications of Shopbox? It's a super good question. I, I mean, I think, it's like hundreds of thousands of you know uh, potential clients. I think it's really important to say no and really focused on one segment. Um, so what I want to do is become really really good at restaurants rather than being you know relatively good at everything. Uh, learning also from experience, but uh, yeah. So I'm really focused on just being you know the perfect restaurant app. Uh, and let me just real quick. Let me just one second. While you're doing that, I might I'll ask a question. Mm -hmm. um, I'm ready now. <clears throat> the the Swedish fund that you've closed with, mm -hmm. uh, obviously undisclosed, but is it a tier A that we would know in London? Uh, no, it's actually a new fund, but uh, but uh, with a few people from a from an old fund. I don't even think it's, that's that's you know official, but it's one of the you know uh, I don't know who has the Hi, question. It's oh, me. sorry, sorry. <laughs> the other judge. <laughs> uh, no, it's a, but it's a, it's a well known fund in Sweden, um, yeah, and a very you know senior guy who is in it. Okay, and then who do you view would be your competition in a market like London? Because there are a few app, apps like this out there, and yeah. obviously they've um, had the advanced land grab that you haven't had. So no. what are you going to do to really try to displace these systems here? I'm going to try to be reasonable, make the right you know, partnerships, <laughs> hire the right people. It doesn't work all the time in London. No, I, mean, I, think, you know, I think if you have a really good product, right? If you, if you really have a genuinely good product that, that works most of the time, then I think it's a matter of hiring the right people with the right connections and also making the right partnerships. So I think this play is not like a winner takes it all. It's like a super fragmented market. Uh, there's going to be chunks of you know, positions here and there. Um, and I think it comes down to making the clever you know, strategic moves, like making the right partnerships, hiring the right people who can actually make sales on a strategic level. Um, not so much focusing on calling every restaurant, but really focusing on how you can help out with, with you know, companies that has a huge uh, Problem. And then I'd love to learn a bit more about you and the rest of the founding team. Yeah. So it's a small management. Um, it's me. Uh, I've done a few startups. I actually sold one of them to a UK company a few years Who, ago. Who's that? Like, just a little it was, bit more it's, information It's a video you. software as a service company called Preview Networks, which operates in eight markets in Europe, used by 400 uh, movie companies to distribute uh, and syndicate their trailer content, mm -hmm. primarily. Um, and I have a very young CTO, which is a good idea. Uh, because things move very fast. Um, we have a lean, of course, like setup. We have a very much focus on the tech part. We have a development office in Cairo just to make sure that we also have some cost concern things, and that's how we run it. And then we set up small offices, you know, just testing it like MVP and, and really going into the market very lean. Great, thank you. I think we probably don't have, don't quite have time for this, but okay. thank you very much. How old is your CTO? That curiosity? How old is your CTO? He is 30. 30. 30, yeah. Oh, okay. And he's not, also named Christian, not, not so it's really young. easy. Not yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, who is this 15-year-old? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Was, Wait, but yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.